So here we have simplifying a quotient involving a sum or difference with the square root. And in this case, we have to simplify that square root. And then we also have to separate the fraction. So um, if I do the square root, I can do the numbers on my calculator now, right? The square root of 72 is 6 square root. This is 36 times 2. And the square root of 36 is 6. And there is no square root of 2, so it stays stuck inside, right? And then we have minus 2. And then we have it all over 8. Well, what we can do is we can separate that fraction and say the first term over 8 minus the second term over 8 and then reduce. So if I reduce, remember, you can only reduce outsides with outsides. So this number and this number can be reduced. And if I reduce them both by 2, I get 3 and 4 and the square root of 2 just stays put. Then um, here we can reduce these two numbers by 2. So um, we'll get 1 and 4. And you could put it back as a single fraction again, but you could also type in this into Alex and it will accept that as the final reduced answer. The same thing goes here. There's nothing to simplify. Square root of 2 is not going to simplify any further. So we're just going to separate the fraction and then reduce each of the individual fractions. So there, if I reduce by 3, I get 1 third. If I reduce by 3 here, I get 2 and 3. The square root of 2 just coming down. And this is the final answer. Here, for the last example, I do have to simplify the square root of 50. That is 25 times 2. The square root of 25 is 5. There is no square root of 2, so it stays stuck inside. Plus 35 over 5. Then separate the two terms over 5. And then these will reduce, leaving me with square root of 2. And 35 over 5 is just 7. And so we don't have any fractions anymore after the simplification. And that's okay. It happens sometimes.